All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We uh, just got a quest to find Bernard to repair the bridge, the I think. Again. Let's find that ladder. Which is their uh, carpenter. I say Bernard, but the lady said Bernard. They have a bit of an accent, though, so I think we might both be right. Uh, but yeah, let's check it out. Anything else around this area? I think that's it for now. There's probably areas we could explore, but eh. Very good to East Bowley. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. Sure, sure is. Alright, uh, I'm guessing down here. I don't care what your orders are, Brandon. Get away from me! What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. Rescue the man being attacked. I'm assuming it's this one, right? Oh, nice. Freaking combo. Valley Matter. <clears throat> all right. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slabbering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Oh, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Actually, she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but man, it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Nice. Well, that wasn't very hard. That's what we like to see. Please teleport us there with him. <laughs> yes, good, good, good. Do we need a helper? Uh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank you, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him we go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. All right, sweet. <clears throat> Report back to Martha. Yeah, we can do that real quick. I feel like we could just kind of hop across the bridge, or at least the go around. Will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? I was supposed to be in East Pool yesterday. <laughs> That's okay though. We don't need to hop it. We'll just talk to Martha real quick for a minute, and then after we're done with that, she's pro he's probably gonna be like, that "Let's mark, go." I'd be on you like a rash. Ew. You ain't pulled that sword from its scabbard in days. Come on. All right, so let's head back inside. What's up, Martha? How you doing? Ah, you're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? We did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. It's the Blight's fault. They have nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. He can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. But anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. We'd be delighted. Alright, quest complete. Nice. <clears throat> Love 
level up. Let's go. That should be level 20. Sweet. The big 2-0. <laughs> uh, meteorite. Sweet. Nice. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, I. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was, they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you? It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? The heck? Um, you weren't my brother, was he? No. But you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. It's kind of messed up. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now, they've fallen so far beggar wouldn't spit on him. Since you're not drinking, do me a favour and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness, the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Understood. Quest accepted. Nice. All right. A bearer's lot. Fulfill Martha's request. It was good, honest work building that. Um, where is? <clears throat> I have two quests here. I guess one is way over there. Um, let's go to a journal real quick and see if we can check, check it there. Uh, fulfill Martha's request. I guess that's what she said to do anyway. So yeah, this is gonna be what we're doing. Alrighty then. Um, so you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Fresh cuts. Fresh cuts. Get your fresh cuts here. What is this then? Are we going up or down? Down, okay. Nice. That is what I, I was hoping for. Tested, kind of. That a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew yeah, nothing about it meant to be born that way. No. Alright, um, uh, ooh, there's some stuff way over there. I don't know if it's worth checking out though, really, right now. Possibly. Uh, I think we'll just keep going on the main quest for now. Um, if you guys do want me to do more side quest stuff, let me know. But I think for now I'll just go for the main story. I kind of want to 
finish it as quickly as possible, but still, you know, enjoy it. Kind of figure stuff out. Oh, I freaking completely missed that. That sucks. <laughs> Continue on. What else do we have here? Ooh, what is that? These chocobos? Oh, it's a bluebird. Okay. Wild chocobo. Alright, interesting. Uh, let's see, so pretty much just go straight here, it looks like. Wasn't sure if we had to go up on that uh, left thing there, like wall aqueduct thingy. There's the Abbey. Dark has to wait us within, I wonder. Let's go and see. Oh. Sick of Toggle! There, boy! Don't let them get away! Over here! Give them all you've got, boy! Very nice. Here we go. We have arrived. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. We came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. Then please follow me. He seemed a little reluctant. Please, Father. Something for the pain. Thank you. The light. I'm afraid. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care. That I might ease their suffering to the extent that I can for the time they have left. What is that? has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. Dick. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness. 
denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. Ding. Rip. Rip. must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. We should get back to Martha's rest. That's depressing. Yes, we should. But what's hidden around back? Phoenix up. Just kidding. <laughs> Aha! <clears throat> Ten pinches of magic dash. Alright, travel to Martha. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel because she is quite a ways away. <laughs> nice, that was fast. Ah, you're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The Definitely. had a message for you. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. All right. So now you know, eh? I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield, but never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Use profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours? Aye, they're my property, at least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in your area. Wear this and they'll know you for one of us. Slumbering Chocobo. Seal obtained. I know that you will always be welcome here. Alright. Very cool. <clears throat> you were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Oh. Quest complete. A bearer's lot. Nice. Uh, more steel cell gill bugs we can trade or sell or whatever. Is she going to be down here then? So I can sell stuff to her, or I guess she's still up there. Alright, that's fine. Let's head on out. I'm probably going to wrap the episode here in a second. Oh, we got another cutscene though. Hey, is that Cla uh, Sid. Sid, yeah. Oh, bye. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. 
I did, yeah. I, with a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. <laughs> Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. Oh. Really? You're gonna smoke? What kind of example are you setting? <laughs> Thank you, Sid, for everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. Savior, just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures, but instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. <laughs> Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. So right, then. Hopefully that's not the last we see of him, but uh talk to you later, man. Holding on. A new quest is available nearby. Make for East Pool. Alrighty, uh, looks like we got false friends and crystalline lifeline, but either way, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more uh, side quests and like let me like clear out the side areas and stuff, clear, clear out all the enemies and find all the hidden stuff, or uh, if we're just going to go straight for the main story. I think I'm just going to go for the main story for now, but yeah, let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!